In this postseason, the Houston Rockets 9-0 when they lead at the half. And here in game six, they lead at the half by 10. Trying to punch their ticket to the NBA Finals for the first time since 1995. It is the American Express Halftime Report. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Golden State trying to stay alive, but trailed by 17 in this first half. Able to cut it down to six, and now it's back up to 10 at the break. The American Express teammates are actually former teammates in Oklahoma City. James Harden and Kevin Durant. 14 on 3 of 11 shooting for KD. James Harden has a 22-point first half, has gotten to the line, hit 8 out of 9 from there. And, um, Charles, you talked about the kind of game James Harden needed to have, especially with Chris Paul out going into this one. I thought James was fantastic. He was aggressive. He got other guys involved. It, it was time for him to have a signature James Harden type game. That's why I thought they had a really good chance of winning tonight. The injury to Chris Paul frees him up even more. But now they're going to play the way they play, just jacking up threes, and they're making them. But there's no pressure on these guys. Nobody expected them to win tonight or Monday. So I thought that would free them up, and they are free. And the Warriors might win this game, but this is going to be a dog fight to the end, brother. 49% shooting for the Rockets in the first half. They average 14 threes made per game, uh, but they're hitting 11 in the first half alone in this one. 11 out of 22, Shaq. Yes, I said with the absence of Chris Paul, everybody's going to need to step up, especially the others. You know, Eric Gordon playing well. And you know, Kenny, when you come off the bench and you insert into the starters, you say, you know what, now I have the automatic rhythm, I get the touches. Ariza really hasn't had a lot of opportunities, but he has championship experience. If you give him that shot, he'll make it most of the time. Right here, uh, James doing a great job of keeping the people involved. And this kid right here doesn't play a lot, but he's been doing that, coming in hitting one or two threes. And right here, James said, you know what, my guys are feeling it. Let me get my guys involved. And the others are definitely stepping up. Trevor 14, Eric Gordon 16, James 22. Shaq, you know what's interesting about every play you just showed? And I didn't look at your pitches when you were talking. None of those were like going one-on-one -on -one guy dribbling. All those were off quick passes. Oh, quick passes. Oh, it was amazing rhythm, watching yep. that tape. It wasn't, rhythm. yeah. You've gotten, uh, taken a look at Golden State in the first 24 minutes, a half in which, as we said, he trailed by 17. What you make of what they're doing offensively? Well, they, they, they were almost got run out the gym, and then they kind of re went back to the Golden State that we had been accustomed to see. Here's Freeze it right here. Kevin Durant in the, in the previous games with the shot clock running down would have just cleared it out and said, I'm going to just get my shot off. But he said, I'm going to be patient now to get us back into the game and still run the play and not look for myself, but look for others. Clay Thompson, now all of a sudden you're back in the ball game. And again, freeze it again. We're now in the misdirection, and this is what they have done throughout the year. You have Clay Thompson running. You have Steph coming. But really, there's an isolation for, for Livingston. And they say, Livingston, you're part of this offense. You're an in-between shooter. You can make these shots. And they gave guys other responsibilities that they even had. But James Harden has been what we thought he could be. Freeze it here. I think overall, without Chris Paul, he becomes more of a passer. With Chris, Chris Paul, then they're not better without Chris, but he's better because he finds people because he doesn't just become just one-dimensional scorer. And then they kept their lead by him still finding people and not afraid because I think at times when Chris is in the game, he goes, well, I'm never going to get it back. I'm not my get. I don't, I don't want to get my shots up. But Chris Paul has been finishing all of these games, and that's what we're going to see if James finishes these games for the Rockets. You have a championship team in that Golden State locker room down by 10 at the half. Tell me what's going on in there. What's going on? They're saying, come on, guys, we're not up to par. Uh, if, if I'm a other, I'm getting into Kevin Durant's face saying 3 for 11 is not acceptable. This is what you came here for. We need you. We need you to step your game up. Let's keep moving the ball, passing. Not guys, not worry about this shot. And Steph Curry, don't defer to Kevin so much. You're a great shooter, one of the best shooters in the league. You can shoot the ball, too. You don't have to come down and give him the ball every time. Let's just play guys and if i'm the rockets my confidence is in full bloom if i'm james i'm in full bloom i can get my shot or i can get one of the other guys a shot anytime do not let the shot clock run down because 
when you let the shot clock drop down and you hit the shot, it's great. But when you miss, you just speak Golden State up, Golden State up. But I thought Shaq pitchers were perfect. They all those came off quick passes, body movement, and things like that. If the Rockets keep doing that, it's gonna come down to what Kenny says. Can James Harden close it? Can James Harden close it? Chris Paul has been closing. James, that's the responsibility with being an MVP. It's gonna be a dogfight to the end. Harden 22. Eric Gordon starting for Paul, 16, and it's a 61-51 game. Me realizing Charles Barkley is a wizard and made a true prediction. Well, it's, it's halfway true at this point. Houston with the lead, hoping to close out the reigning champs. Welcome.